exciting right from the start. It's fun, even while you're learning. It's bowling, America's most popular sport for men, women, youngsters, families. And here's the show that brings you all of the fun and the excitement of today's bowling, television's most popular bowling show, Bowling Stars. Now, for the play-by-play, -play, here's your bowling sportcaster, Whispering Joe Wilson. Hi, friends. How are you? Welcome to Bowling Stars, brought to you from Fates Neeson Recreation in Chicago. For this week, we have, I think, as great a natural as we could possibly have conceived for you. We're going to bring you two men who have formed the big records that we have had, some of the big records that we have had in past weeks. The first man, the man who beat John Gunther in a tremendously thrilling match last week, your defending champion, Billy Waylou. Hi, Bill. Again, from Houston, Texas, sir, now bowling out of St. Louis. Huh? All right. His opponent is the man who ended Bill's early string of three at three. It was the second time anybody had gone three matches before losing. He is the man who, in the course of his string, went five before he lost and shot. 701, 757, 738, and lost with a 638. Also, there was a 715 in there for his fourth match. He is second high in money earnings, $5,748, a 236 plus average, the highest of anyone we have had, from Chicago, Johnny King. Now these fellows are shooting a three-game match for you. The winner will be decided on total pins over those three games. They have completed the first game and seven frames of the second game. And as you men know, the winner gets $1,000, the loser a dollar a pin, and the bonus arrangement still holds, whereby you get $10 a stick for every pin over 700. And in addition, a perfect game on the air, the second or third games carry $10,000 for either or both. You might think about that a little bit, too. King of the Hill, as you both know, <coughs> excuse me, you go until somebody beats you if you win. Any questions? No, Joe. John? No questions. Okay, good luck. Good shooting to both of you. Thank you. Well, Johnny King ended Billy Wheeler's reign the first time, and you kind of wonder if maybe that's what he has in mind again. As you see, Johnny won the first game, 254 to 181. In this one, Johnny has 128 through the fifth and a double to Billy's 136 through the sixth and a spare. So that Johnny probably leads by 22 pins for this game, and that would mean that he had a lead of 95 pins for the match. Well, here's Billy Wheelow, up on five, where he will be finishing in this, the second game only. He won the toss, elected to finish on six in the first and third. Bang! Boy! If anybody needs strikes, it is Billy Wheelow. 156 through the seventh and a strike. Johnny King, however, with 128 through the fifth and a double out in front of him, could be up by 32 pins for this game, and that would make him 105 for the match. Johnny on six. Out, out, seven nine rail down there, as the magic triangle pin indicator indicates. And the automatic pin spotter is going to set up a rail, barring an accident or a near miracle, is just not to be had. He's going for it. He's going for it. He was trying for it. And with just a hair more, who is to say he wouldn't have made it? This is an almost impossible graze, but nothing is completely impossible in bowling. Well, Johnny's open with 183 through the eighth and nothing going. 182, I beg your pardon, because he didn't get any count on that last ball. And he could be down by four pins for this game. is the way to roar back from those opens. 
182 for Johnny King through the eighth and a strike. But Billy Wheeler, 156 through the seventh, and on a strike. If he doubles, he'll go up four for this game, and that would put him down 69 for the match. On six. Not a beautiful strike. That was really labeled, wasn't it? 156 through the seventh and a double to 182 through the eighth and a single strike. And now Billy Wheeler does lead for this game by four sticks, and he's only 69 off for this match. And this is not an insurmountable lead for this 26-year-old, six foot four, 224-pound college graduate. First ball in the tenth on five. Gee, that's as pretty a strike as you'll ever see. Now Billy with a turkey shows 186 through the eighth and a double ahead of him. And you experts, we are filling in the frames, yes, so that those people who don't score very well can keep right abreast of everything as closely as we can bring them to that score. And a four-bagger here puts Billy Wheelu near 216. strikes where he needed them most. This has been a good game for Billy. He has turkeyed once in the third, fourth, and fifth frames, and now strung in these four. And of course, he has the two 16 through nine. If he can get the next strike, it is 246. Should put a little heat on Johnny King, even with an edge of 69 pins if he strikes out on six. Oh, that first strike for John. And with 182 through the eighth and a double ahead, as you can see, one more is going to put him up around 240, 241, 242, somewhere there. And he will still take 69 or thereabouts into the third game as a margin. Really, really beautiful bowling, isn't it? 212 through the ninth, and one more strike makes it 242. And when the challenge faced him, he rose right up and met it. Last shot. Every step of the way. But how is it on that? Four straight strikes in each instant. And the winner of the second game is Billy Wheelow over Johnny King, 246 to 242. Well, I hope you looked at that one very well, because that is one of the best games you will ever see. Winner of it, 246 to 242. He still has his work cut out for him as he trails 496 to 427 by 69 pins, Billy Whalu. long way to go, Joe. Well, I was just thinking, Bill, how high is up? Well, you need a lot of pins against this guy here. You sure do. Came out of the chute pretty bad with that 181, and uh, yeah, you can't spot yeah. a guy like this that many pins. I thought you were tapped in that first game, too, didn't you? Well, I was satisfied with the way I hit the pocket, Joe, mm -hmm. but the ball wasn't rolling very well. Well, Bill, I hope this won't be interpreted as a partiality, but I'm going to go out with you because I think you need a little help. I need a lot All of right. help, Joe. All right, Billy Wheeler. Billy Wheeler. Up on five, he'll finish on six as the winner of the toss. The alternation of the alleys in the games in accordance with ABC and All-Star regulations. It'll take a lot of work. He is to make up 69 pins. But there's one strike. And these fail fellows play them one strike at a time. If they're wise. And they are, or they wouldn't be where they are. Johnny on six, he finishes on five. And you never gain on 
him if he keeps doing that. And that dash put there by our scorer under Billy Wheeler's score indicates that we are even for this game. A plus one, remember, will put Billy up a mark, a minus one puts him down a mark, and a mark is worth about 10 pins. It varies up or down with count. At the moment, Mr. King leads by 69 pins for this match. Down! Ronnie King has a double. Billy Wheeler, trailing by 69, will have to double just to match. Billy, one of the most graceful bowlers, as we've pointed out before, you will ever see. Watch the gliding motion. Oh, good. Just beautiful. And it's a double on either side. And Billy Wheeler's score still shows the dash under it, indicating that we are even for this game. And still, Billy Wheeler trails by 69 pins for this match. This fellow who was born and raised in Houston now shoots out of St. Louis. Graduate of St. Thomas University in Houston, took a business master's degree almost at St. Louis, yo. Oh, turkey! Now you will tell us, see us filling in those frames again. Violating the only superstition these bowlers observe so that you can keep right on this score. And Johnny King knows that he must duplicate or lose 21 of the 69 sticks. Look out, look out, look out, look out! Almost a 310, as it is the three pin standing down there. Johnny has had one rail. He had it in the first game. It was a 4-7-10 on this same lane six on the first ball he threw. Johnny started out rather on the wobbly side. He was getting some lucky hits, but he has firmed. All right, it is down. For a spare. But a spare, as we said, with a nine pin count at this stage can cost 21 pins. 49 through the second and a spare to 30 through the first and a double ahead means that you are 11 pins down through two frames and lead by 58. But that can drop to 48 if Billy strings. And Johnny, to be sure, must hit here on five. Safeguard, but is left of the lead with 69 through the third and a strike. And Billy Lou under the gun, no less, because he must string it out two more to be absolutely certain. On six. And there it is for a four bagger. Now Billy Willow shows 60 through the second and a double ahead of him to 69 through the third in a single strike. And if he can get that five bagger, then he will be 21 to the good for this game and only 48 away for this match. And the pressure then may start to shift a little bit here. pins through the third and a double leading him to 69 through the third and a single strike. And Johnny King now, 21 down for this game, is 48 for this match and he must hit it on six. And Kennedy certainly did. Beautiful strike. So, there is no more gaining or losing to be done right here. Billy Wheeler's 90 through the third and a double to Johnny King. 69 through the third and a double gives him 21 pins, and Johnny leads by 48. And now, if he can turkey, that will be safe for a little longer, and the pressure will shift the other way, possibly. Yes, sir. Four seven left against Johnny. And this 37-year-old, six foot, 170-pound, original native of Cleveland, born and raised there, who moved to Chicago in the 57-58 season to bowl with Buddy Bomar, is now under the gun. He might lose 22 more. Right, they're out for his mark. 
Johnny King shows 117 to the fifth and a spare, and Billy Wheelu on a five-bagger knows that little short of going all the way can make up this margin, but it's there to be made up on six. Look out, look out, look out! Well, that certainly takes care of that. Billy, who has suffered rails in the first game, the 5-7 on this same lane, 6 in the second frame, and the 4-7-10 on 6 in the sixth frame, none of which he was able to convert, now has the 4-6. Going for count. Going for count. Four pin down, he is open. And a splendid drive of five straight strikes ends with an open in the sixth for 146. And that means his lead now is nine pins for the game, and he trails by 60 for the match. Well, there he is, coming back again. But boy, this is a different situation now. Johnny King with 117 through the fifth and a spare. Two Billies 146 through the sixth and a strike. If he can match the strike, will trail by nine pins and lead by 60 with only five more shots to be made on six. <gasps> he threw that out there and no one is a one, two, eight tandem left against him. Well, 60 pins is a long, long way to go, but he's waiting a little. A one, two, eight to cover. And this takes a little covering. He's going to take it left side, notice. <laughs> Gee, blows it, leaving the eight pin standing, and Johnny King is open like Billy Wheelu. And now, with 143 through the seventh and nothing going to Billy's 146 through the sixth and a strike, Johnny could conceivably be down 33 for this game, which would put him up just 36 for the match, and this is a brand new contest. Johnny on five. That takes care of that. 143 through the seventh and a strike. Now Billy Wheelu will have to match it. He'll have to double and start up where he left off. But the opportunity is there and it's mathematically so possible. Bingo! For a double. Every ball is strike except that open. 146 through the sixth and a double to 143 through the seventh and a single strike. And Billy Wheelu can be up by 33 pins for this game, which would put him 36 off for this match. All our scoring, incidentally, is based on the premise of a strike in the succeeding frame. Billy on five. Well, that's it. Almost a 5-10. As it is, the five pin to shoot for. And we're getting just down far enough now so that you have to have every strike unless you're going to hope for opens on the part of your opponent. And it gives it 195 through the eighth of despair. Johnny King, who can now rise within 22 pins for this game, would go in 47 off. On six. I think I said 47 off. Uh, 47 ahead, of course. All right, Johnny, 143 through the seventh and a double leading him. Through eight frames, Johnny can be within 22 sticks for the game and 47 ahead, and he can raise that to 57 going into the 10th frame. So, take a good look at this fellow. He beat Billy once. He's about to do it again. pin left up. Johnny King incidentally needed a 204 to get into the bonus money going in off a of 496. And he of course could have shot there 233. As 
it is, he can still tap that bonus money if he gets this. And there it is, for one more shot for John King. 192 through the ninth. And the spare up that means 212 if he can strike out. So we will have another plus 700 series. And Johnny King has had four of them. This one will make five out of his six matches over 700. Think of that, 701, 757, 738, 715. And every step of that last mile for 20 pins in the 10th frame and 212 for Johnny King. And now Billy Wheelou, who can win the second game as the third game as he won the second. left against him on the crossover. So, he can still win it, of course. He has more pins through nine frames than Johnny has through 10. But it would have been fun to see him shoot the 245. Oh, gee whiz. Open as he picks the cherry. A 222, nine pins in the tenth frame. And the winner of the third and final game, Billy Wheelu over Johnny King, 222 to 212. We'll be back with the totals and the awards in just a moment. Well, we're getting into the realm of almost the unbelievable. First of all, the statistics at hand. Winner of the third game, as he was of the second, 222 to 212 was Billy Wheelu. It was not enough for the match, of course, as he lost 708 to 649 by 59 pins. But we get into a situation with Johnny King before I call up Billy Wheelu while I still remember these numbers, of a man now who has bowled six times and has shot over 700 in five of those six. 701, 757, 738, 715, and now 708 falling below 700 only when he was beaten by Carmen Salvino with a 638. This averages up to 236 plus, and to state that a little differently so that it might even make more impact, when you think of it this way, every time this fellow takes this competition, this means his average says he has to shoot 708 plus. That's quite an assignment when you start out. Tremendous shooting. He is now the richest man of anyone who has competed here. We'll tell you a little more about that when we give him his money. That, of course, is John King. But first, let's hear it for Billy Wheelu. <laughs> Bill, it was a brilliant charge. Well, I got a little too far back, Joe. Had a chance and threw that one bad ball in the last game, and that, that ended it all. You know, when you were making that charge, I was so much concerned with how you were creeping up that I completely forgot the fact that you were working on the $10,000 game. Uh, had you thought about that? No, I wasn't really thinking about that, Joe. I was just trying to make up those 69 pins. Well, that was all that was in my mind, too. Incidentally, we have a little time, Billy, and I noticed that you're using an offset, a little uh, akin to what Joe Kristoff has used, and I wonder, if we have the time, would you get your ball Surely. and tell us how it's drilled and why you use it that way? Can we show it here so that they yes, can get a good can. look at it? Joe, the reason for it being drilled in this manner goes way back to the time when I used to use a two-fingered ball, and I oh, smashed I my hand in a car door accident, and I don't have the strength now. Mm -hmm. So I experimented with a type of a grip that would permit me to roll similar to a two-fingered ball. So I have this one finger drilled to fingertip depth, and the other one to semi-fingertip with the fingertip overlapping the shorter finger I so that the two fingers serve as one, if you can see how they're mm -hmm. in the ball. Mm -hmm. One is almost over the top, and they come out and work together so it's like one big finger in the ball. But I want to make one point of note here. It's not recommended for the beginner or the novice bowler. Okay, swell. Bill, this is recommended for any bowler. $649. Thank you very much, Thank Joe. Thank you very nice much. Nice to be here. Wonderful match. Billy Wheeler! One further thing about Mr. King. His lowest game is still 
203. He's the only bowler in the series, if memory serves me, who has not shot under 200. Want to see what he looks like? Here he is in close-up, John King! John, you are a wealthy man and getting richer by the moment. Your bonus money here is $80. You get $1,000 for winning again, giving you a total of $1,080. This gives you a total overall of $6,828, which makes you now first in earnings. Carmen Salvino had been with $6,705, and you can add to that next week if you will return. I'll take a chance. All right, bye. Johnny King! Next week... Another bowling star, a man who has shot 835 and 300 on this pair, Lindy Farragalli. Till then, Joe Wilson, good luck and good shooting, everyone. If you've enjoyed watching bowling stars, enjoy the fun of bowling yourself. Make a date soon to visit your local Magic Triangle Bowling Center and join the millions of men, women, and children who have made bowling America's number one sport. Thank you.